NASCAR has always been a sport filled with adrenaline, excitement, and a fair share of controversy. And this 2024 NASCAR season, particularly the Martinsville race, has become one of the most controversial and debated events in recent memory. At the heart of this controversy is Denny Hamlin, a veteran driver from Joe Gibbs Racing, who has used his platform to call out several issues plaguing the sport. Hamlin's candid remarks have sparked a firestorm within the racing community, shedding light on everything from questionable race strategies and playoff structures to ambiguous rule enforcement by NASCAR officials. The controversy began during the Martinsville race where Christopher Bell, a teammate of Hamlin, found himself in a desperate situation. With a spot of the championship four on the line, Bell executed a daring move that many fans instantly recognized as similar to Ross Chastain's infamous Hail Melon from a previous race. In a last-ditch effort to secure his place in the championship, Bell decided to ride the wall, pushing his car to the absolute limit in hopes of gaining a few crucial positions. NASCAR, however, was quick to penalize Bell for what they deemed a safety violation. The penalty ended his hopes. This decision didn't sit well with Hamlin, who voiced his frustration publicly on his podcast. While he acknowledged that NASCAR had a valid reason for penalizing Bell due to safety concerns, Hamlin felt that such a harsh penalty discouraged the bold, daring moves that make NASCAR races thrilling for both drivers and fans. I think they made the right call. I, I don't like it. But I, I, you know, they wanted to avoid us wall riding on last laps to either gain or defend uh, positions. And Seabell didn't have to do it. You know, there was probably a little bit of panic in the moment because you're thinking, you know, he, he just shipped it into turn three to try to, you know, or try to get past the 23 in a panic, right? Because 23's got issues and has been falling back the last few laps. He sees them, he's catching them quickly, he knows he needs a spot. So he drives in there really deep, washes up, gets out of control, gets in the marbles. And I can't emphasize enough, like once you get outside the concrete there and into the asphalt, all you saw how dirty the cars were right after the race. Hamlin's critique didn't stop at Bell's penalty. In fact, that incident was just the beginning. Hamlin delved deeper into the actions that took place during those tense final moments of the race, alleging that race manipulation tactics might have been employed by teams driving by Chevrolet and Toyota. Specifically, Hamlin pointed to how Ross Chastain and Austin Dillon, both Chevrolet drivers, appeared to form a protective barrier behind their teammate William Byron, effectively preventing other drivers from overtaking Byron. This strategic blocking ensured that Byron would remain in contention for the championship four. At the same time, Toyota's Bubba Wallace seemed to inexplicably fall back allowing Bell to pass him in the final corner. You know, I don't know what was wrong with the 23 car. I'm not at the shop. It's Monday morning early. I know that, that NASCAR inspected it after the race, which is unusual for the 19th place car, 18th place car to, to get inspected, but it's they're, they're going to make sure that what they heard on the audio from Bubba is, is factual, right? So they're going to look at all that stuff, certainly. But if, if everything, I think, plays out 100% natural between all the cars and everything, I think the 24 is out. The question still is, what do you do about it? And I just don't know what you can do about it other than, you know, take manufacturer points away, you know, because they care about it. While NASCAR is reportedly investigating the late race actions of Chastain, Dillon, and Wallace, Hamlin remains skeptical that any serious penalties will be handed down. The question looming over the investigation is whether NASCAR has the willpower to impose meaningful consequences, particularly in light of the influence that major manufacturers wield within the sport. Although it's unlikely that NASCAR will remove Byron from the championship four, Hamlin suggested that if the investigation does reveal clear evidence of manipulation, some form of severe penalty should be issued to preserve the sport's fairness. But Hamlin's criticisms went even deeper taking aim at one of NASCAR's long-standing issues, the vague and inconsistent nature of its rulebook. In the wake of the Martinsville race, NASCAR's vice president of competition, Elton Sawyer, compared Bell's penalty to a loose tire penalty, implying that it was a clear-cut, black-and-white decision. Hamlin, however, strongly disagreed with this analogy. 
Yeah, Elton said it was basically equivalent of a uh, loose tire, you know, tire rolling down the track, and so it's a penalty, and it's black and white, so you, that you can't appeal mm, that's that. That's not true. That that okay, I don't agree with that. A, a tire rolling across the track means a tire, a wheel is off, right? That is a definite thing. This was this was a tire wobbling in the wheel well, <laughs> you know. Again, they they put such vague wording in their rules. It's what allows these instances to come up where they are always in these situations well how are they going to interpret their rule this week right there's not enough clean defined rules in that rule book because they just leave it open for themselves to do what they want or feel is right hamlin's critique of nascar's rule book also touched on the issue of fairness he pointed out that in other sports rules are usually more clearly defined a ball is either in or out in tennis. A player is either offside or not in soccer. While there are some gray areas, such as in American football's roughing the passer rule, these tend to be exceptions rather than the norm. In contrast, NASCAR's rulebook often leaves room for subjective interpretation, which can lead to inconsistent enforcement and confusion. I just don't know of any other sport, and I've never read the rule book of any other sport, but usually it's foot on line out, you know, things like that. But there's also roughing the passer. It's That's very, very vague, right? What is that? Is it grabbing around the ankle? Is it what you is can do it, but what you can't catch? turn? Yeah, what is a catch? There's lots of things like that in other sports, but it, it seems as though it happens, like Jared was saying at the intro here, it, it just happens more times than not on how are they we we just don't know how they're going to rule it because we've seen wild instances where it's been one is a white call one is a black call and they look the same but i opened this in saying that in my opinion this is what we did not want to have happen on the last lap. in addition to criticizing the rule book and nascar's handling of race manipulation hamlin also took aim at the current playoff system he's long been a critic of the playoff format which he believes waters down the sport by prioritizing short-term wins over long-term excellence. You have to, there's a minimum standard in which you had to have to get in the playoffs to begin with. And our standards have, again, they have lowered the standards over the years, right? It used to be 10, then they moved it to 12, then they moved it to 16. They just keep moving the bar lower and lower to be part of it. And now it's just win. Win and you're in the playoffs. Harrison Burton got in. Daytona on a super speedway race went from 30 something in points to 16 that quick. Hamlin argued that this format unfairly penalizes drivers who perform consistently well over the entire season, but may not secure a win at a crucial moment. He cited Kyle Larson as a prime example. Larson, one of the most dominant drivers in recent years, led in nearly every statistical category this season, from laps led to races won. But due to the playoff structure, Larson found himself eliminated from championship contention despite his overall dominance. To Hamlin, this is the clearest indication that the playoff system is flawed and fails to reward sustained greatness. Now, if you enjoyed this video so far, then just make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell for more upcoming content.